Hi, welcome to Old Mill Quilting. My name is Cassie and in this video we're going to show you how to use the Mary Ellen's Best Press Spray Starch. There's plenty of spray starch products out there on the market, but we prefer the Mary Ellen's Best Press because it doesn't leave any flaky residue on your materials and it also has a beautiful subtle scent that fills the room as you're ironing. There are heaps of flavours available. They come in the small 473ml bottles and also the larger 1 litre refills. The small bottles also come with the spray tops. So why do we use starch? The main reason we starch our fabrics is to give it more stability, which makes it easier to cut and piece together. Especially if you've got small points in your project, it makes it much easier to actually put those points together and make sure they hit every time. So how do we use the spray starch? We take our piece of fabric and it's best to use straight away before you do any of your cutting. This will ensure your fabric is more stable and it gives you more accuracy as you cut your fabric into the required pieces. So we have our fabric piece. I'm going to take my spray starch and I'm going to spray it all over the fabric. Now I want the entire piece of fabric to be damp but not soaking wet. Just like that. So it's not dripping, but the entire piece is covered. I'm going to allow this to dry just for a couple of seconds, and then we're going to iron it. Now, the really important part is to make sure you iron on the reverse side to the side you sprayed. It doesn't matter which side you decide to spray the starch on. I've sprayed it on the front side of the fabric. You can spray it on the back. It doesn't matter. The important, the important thing to remember is that you iron on the opposite side to the side that you sprayed. So here we've ironed the front. I'm going to turn it over and iron on the back. So once our fabric's been sitting and the spray starch has had a chance to really seep into the fabric, I'm going to get the iron and press over the top of the spray. Notice how I'm using a pressing action, not an ironing action. We're not trying to iron the fabric, we're simply pressing the starch into the fibres. So now I've finished pressing the fabric so it's completely dry. As you can see, it hangs completely differently straight away. You can also feel the difference in the material and the stability that's come from using the spray starch. If you've got any questions on how to use this product, please feel free to leave a comment below and we'll get back to you as soon as we can. So just to recap, Today we've shown you how to use the Mary Ellen's Best Press Spray Starch. There's heaps of different scents available, so there's sure to be one to suit you. We've also used the 100% wool ironing mat, the Birch Mini Iron, and the Matilda Zone Spray Bottle. If you have any questions about any of these products, please feel free to leave a comment below and we'll get back to you as soon as we can. All these products can be found on our website and the link will be in the description box below. So thank you for watching. We hope you found this video informative and please keep an eye out for all our future tutorials and videos.